right, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today, a massive fish room tour of michaelsfishroom.com. That's right, folks. Every tank, probably not that much detail, but every tank we're gonna talk about and I'm gonna show you. So do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and obliterate that subscription button. Gently boop the notification bell and check out michaelsfishroom.com where you can see and buy all the guppies and plecos you're about to see. It's gonna be a long one, folks, so grab a snack and a beverage, perhaps a little bit extra, maybe an extra large size portion, and uh, let's let's get ready to for the goodness. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, let's start with this handsome devil, Chewy, and his ginormous cock. He is spectacular. He is my Super Red Dragon flower horn. I got from Aqua Quays probably, say at this point about 14 or 15 months ago i'd have to check he's trying to eat the gopro camera i'm trying to get some underwater footage for you guys of him grown tremendously he's about nine inches now um, he will eat me if I put my hand in there of course my nephew tried to do it and he didn't go near him but um, you can see all this excess java moss and other plants in here um, as you guys know I have quite a few guppies in the fish room and when I move java moss from one tank to another because I need it somewhere else or it's growing um, I used to just throw it in the new tank and then I'd find oh crap those guppies aren't breeding true because there was a fry or something stuck in that clump of java moss I put it in a few months ago and now they've contaminated the strain and boom we have mutts. So what I do now what I've been doing for about the past year is if I take java moss out of a tank I put it in Chewy's tank for a couple days and then any tender and delicious fry that are in there he'll eat. And so then I think the java moss is clean and I've had much better luck with that. Chewy's tank is a little bit of a mess I don't really clean the back. Uh, you can see there's there's uh, some algae on it. If you guys know, if you guys ever have clept, kept flower horns with a pleco, let me know. I'm concerned. I don't want to put a small, like, ancestress in there. I don't want to buy a common because, you know, they should be banned from the hobby. So I'm thinking maybe my one of my jibiceps might be tough enough to hang with him. I'm not really sure. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about a pleco and Chewy the flower horn. All right, folks, let's move down to the massive 90-gallon mutt guppy tank. That's right, folks. Here it is in its ginormousness. Now, these are uh, one of my mutt guppy tanks. I'll show you the other one. Actually, I have three more, to be honest. But the other uh, one that is pretty much full are, are most of the pond guppies. Um, also, mutt guppies are currently on sale at michaelsfishroom.com. That's right, folks. Buy six mutt guppies for the price of five. Or buy five mutt guppies, get one free. I don't care which deal you want. You can have either of them. And uh, also on michaelsfishroom.com, you can buy a five pack, a six pack of all male mutt guppies. Now, I have about 22 orders of mutt guppies to ship out. I may be ending the sale early because I didn't expect it to be so popular. So if you're looking for mutt guppies, you should probably get that order in as soon as possible. 
Um, where are we going now? Oh, there's my super cichlid sticker on the Mutt Guppy tank. Guys, I, yesterday all day I was at the grand opening of super cichlids down in Dover, Delaware. I talk a lot about Martin and Lisa. Uh, they are very close friends of mine. They have a great shop. If you're anywhere near the Dover, Delaware area, stop by supercichlids.com. All right, folks, let's move over here. This is the Lemon Blue Eye Pleco Breeding and Grow Out Tank, and it's a little bit cloudy. I just ran some extra water changes um, in the Pleco tanks, as I do sometimes. But you can see there's some nice sized ones there for sale. There's a breeder in the cave. Actually, there's breeders in all those caves. Hopefully, we'll have babies soon. I would imagine the next thunderstorm we have will drop some babies. You can see there's a fork in the tank. That's to add excess metal uh, and make the water harder because metal's really hard. Um, actually, folks, if you see a, a fork in the tank, it's because I'm lazy. I've dropped a cucumber or zucchini or something else that needed to be weighed down and I just haven't taken it out. I get questions. I got a question on a, on a video the other day. Why does he leave forks in the tank? Who's that person talking to? Like the comment is on the video. Shouldn't he say, why did you leave a fork on the tank? Anyway, whatever. Guys, here are the uh, albino guppies that I really don't want because I don't like albinos. Uh, they're creepy. And there's a female uh, from the platinum pair that I had. Uh, if you're interested in these albino guppies, shoot me an email, shoot me a price, $20 shipping plus whatever price you send me. I've had a couple people interested, but they want me to give them away and that's not how I roll. So I'm in it for the money. If you want them, you're gonna have to buy them and pay the price. It's that simple, folks. Oh look, there's some mom on the outside of the tank. That's gross, right there. That's dirt, that's gross. Go ahead, folks, slam me for that. See if I care, actually. All right, folks, here are the uh, red mosaic Dumbo ears or dragons grow out. I have another tank of these as well. I'll be shipping some of these out from an order that, I, to be honest, I forgot to ship. I felt bad, so I'm gonna give the customer an extra female. And uh, yeah. All right, these are the red grass. Not, no, they're not red grass. These are the red cobra guppies from the pond. Um, there's one male in there, I don't know where he is. There's about 100 fry and lots of plump fat females. See the water is still yellow. Um, the medicine I used, Furan 2, turns the water mel uh, yellow. And that is just a precaution in quarantine. Now, uh, quarantine is over today, so water changes will start and this water will turn less yellow very quickly. Here we have the yellow cobra grow out tank. Also folks, some good news. There is a, I don't know if you can see it. No, I don't know if you can see it. These tanks are dirty, Jesus Christ. I should have cleaned them. <laughs> um, there are a couple of plecos in here. There's three actually long fin bristlenose pleco babies that I've seen. So that's good news. So hopefully in about a year, they'll be grown out and have babies. So we'll see. This is the tank that had the disaster with the watermelon in, if you remember correctly. All right, folks, let's slowly turn this way so we don't make anyone throw up. There's the disaster fish room. We'll start up in this tank. This is a 20 long that I've left here for months. It has a leak and I'm lazy. I, I could really use the space too. So I don't know if I'm gonna buy another 20 long or I'm gonna put three more tens up there. Um, but I have to do something. <clears throat> Dark purple Moscow's. Um, I had, I don't know why, but I had like four or five males and three females and I didn't have any fry. And so I took, I took all but one male out, the nicest male, look how nice that male is. Um, and I still don't, don't have any fry. So I gotta figure out what's going on here. I probably should put some thought into it, but I'm lazy. These are bluegrass guppies, um, still in the grow out stage. I do have uh, an extra male and a female that I may be sending to a very good customer of mine who has the cutest daughter in the world. Um, but we'll see. Java moss growing nice. Metal black lace guppies I got from my buddy Phil at Tamed Waters. Uh, these guys are spectacular and both females drop fry within the first week. So we're just let, waiting for these fry to grow out. Here is one of, whoa, sorry guys, almost dropped the camera. 
here is one of the green Cobra grow out tanks. Um, we have a couple of sellable sized females, but no males in this tank yet. Over here are the Jarwi Lazulis, a uh, project I've been trying to resurrect. I do have a male and a female. They are tiny, but probably of age to do the nasty. So hopefully we're gonna over start overfeeding them as usual. And we got, boom, babies. Here are red mosaics. These aren't the Dumboers, just red mosaics. I got these from uh, another guppy breeder, Phil. Phil, thank you so much. Phil was moving and needed to get rid of some guppies and so he, he sent these to me for a very good price. All right guys, these are the fantastic Cobra and Black Moscow mix. I haven't come up with a name. I got the idea, I stole the idea from my buddy um, Nissan Doug. I can't hold it against him that he drives a POS Nissan, but what are you gonna do? Uh, these look spectacular to be honest, the males, they really do. I'm considering starting to sell these on the website with the note that they, I don't know if they're gonna breed true or not, uh, but obviously there's probably gonna be a second generation soon enough in here. So I might just wait and see how they go. See, see how they do. These are red mosaic dragons, just like the other ones. Very nice, very, very nice. Here are half black grow outs. Kind of a inexpensive, plain looking guppy if you're looking to start breeding. Red, another tank of red cobra grow outs. Um, lots of nice males in this tank as well. Here are the fake red cobras I got from liveaquaria.com. Um, these are just gonna be part of mutts because they look like crap. Purple grass guppies I got from Phil at Tamed Waters. I lost both females rather quickly. Um, I'd say a week after I got them. I don't know what was up with my water, but something happened but both females dropped fry and so there's i don't know five or six or ten fry in there hopefully they'll grow out and be spectacular like they were when i got them these are those wild type guppies i got from uh the breeder in puerto rico i can't remember his name i apologize just let them grow out see how they breed not really sure what i'm gonna do with them these are some mutts I got from Phil, and these are some mutts I got from another customer. They appear to be all female, which is kind of strange, but we'll see what happens. We'll see how they grow and what they look like. All right, second row, Dumbo Red Mosaic Firework. Both females have dropped fry. You can see there's one of the fry that I got. Uh, the first night, that one was dropped. Actually, two of them were dropped, I think or two of them survived, but you can see some itty bitty baby fry down there. There's one right there, if you can see it. So, you know, they come in and out of the weeds and, and whatnot. Um, I haven't fed in two days because uh, we got shipping, packing and shipping to do. So I'm sure when I feed tonight, they will be really hungry. Here are the Super Dumbo Dragons. Uh, I also got, I got both of these strains from Phil at Tamed Waters. Uh, these guys haven't dropped fry yet. I'm uh, starting to get a little concerned uh, I may be, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them actually because they look quite healthy and it's possible they've dropped fry and eaten them all, but I doubt it with all the cover in there. So we'll have to look into this, maybe uh, see what's going on. Maybe talk to Phil, see if he has any suggestions. All right, here are the pink flamingos, uh, guppies. These are new on the website. If you wanna check them out for a pair, it's a nice red, um, guppy with a little bit of pink in the body, gold bodied. So uh, a little bit different than your normal red strain. Also, there are the albino bristlenose plecos. I don't know if you can see from the, uh, from the pond. There's lots of fry in here. Let me see if I can't move this. You can see that male. He is ginormous. Look at him. Look, just look at him. He barely fits, which is perfect for them in this cave. I'm a little surprised I don't have fry from them yet because I thought, uh, you know, in about five days after I put them in here, I'd have fry and it's a little more than a week. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if we get fry out of here. We have, pl I have plenty of albino bristlenose plecos. In fact, uh, so many I'm gonna be helping uh, supply super cichlids with some live fish as well. So yeah, that's that. All right, folks, albino, long fin albino bristlenose. Um, 
I was told these were all long fin albino bristle nose. Some of them are not long fin. What are you gonna do? There's a long fin right there in the corner though. Also, we have the blue neon guppies. This is a really nice stranded guppy. Look how ginormous this female is. It's actually my son Lucas's, one of my his favorite fish in the fish room because she's so large. There's a nice amount of mom trapped in the java moss. That's great for the fry to eat off of. Uh, so this guy looks like he's fanning some eggs possibly. So that would be great if we got some eggs out of here and got some long fins. All right, here we have long fin brown plecos. You can see there's one right there. And also these are the mysterious uh, cobra guppies that I got from Live Aquaria. And you can see one of the fry looks nothing like a cobra. So I'm glad I didn't rely on these guppies for any type of breeding because they are garbage. Here we have a Pleco grow out tank um, and there's a guppy in there. Oh, I remember when I dropped this guppy. I dropped her from the red mosaic tank. She was just an itty bitty guppy and I couldn't see her. So we'll let her stay in here for a little while. Anyway, this tank has regular brown bristle nose that gave birth to albinos as well. And there's a fork, obviously. The water's cloudy because I overfeed the heck out of it. Uh, we have the aqua clear 50 running on the tank to help clean up some of the debris and mom and these guys are just growing out nice there's probably i probably get fry out of these guys i don't know a couple times a month maybe maybe once a month something like that all right folks this is a tank i've been i've been working on um this is the yellow um Macriff guppies, I think I got. I think that's what they are. I got them from the NEC. If you remember, I bought the guy out of his guppies, so he couldn't sell them. Then I turned around and sold them for twice the price and made my money back quite quickly. Anyway, that's business, folks. Anyway, there's also some uh, bristle nose, some calico bristle nose fry in here. And these guys looked really skinny. I didn't lose any fish, but they look really skinny. So I've been treating for internal parasites. Uh, I'm just about out of food from everything aquatic, so I placed an order uh, last week. I think I placed it on Wednesday, and it showed up yesterday. That's amazing. Um, and I'll talk about that in another video, I'm sure, about what I bought. Looks like there might be some albino bristlenose pleco fry in this tank as well. All right, moving on, folks. Moving on. These are the black Moscow growouts. Um... I have quite a few males and just a few females. We're letting these grow out, then I gotta really amp up the breeding because these are a good seller on the website and I don't really have much to sell right now. Uh, you can see the pothos plant I have here. Uh, it's growing all the way down there. And Lacey from Lacey's Place said, Mike, run that thing along the, the tanks. Don't let it hit the floor. So that's what I did because she told me to. Here we have more bristlenose grow outs, albinos, and your standards. I mean, the standards with those dots on them. Gorgeous looking guppies. You can see there's all kinds of action going on, all kinds of fry. A poop ton of mom. You can see a nice male back there. Let me see if I can zoom in on him for you. See all those bristles right there? Yeah, that's right, folks. That's a nice looking male. Uh, there's a couple really nice males. There's one also hanging out in the corner over there. Lots of females. This tank has been really good at breeding. I'm not changing a thing. The mom is perfect. There's a little bit of wood in there for them to gnaw on in lots of different caves, two different shapes. So it's a pretty standard breeding setup for me for plecos, guys. Lots of uh, duckweed as well, which is helping keep the water quality high. All right, folks, new on the website, red grass guppies. That's right, folks, red grass guppies. These guys are a little smaller than most guppies. They have a little bit of blue and red in them. These come from Super Breeder Doug Gray. You can see there's a China filter in there. I'll be doing an update of the China filter soon. And it appears I have chocolate, albino chocolate bristlenose fry. I don't know if you can see that one on the China filter. Let me see if I can't. No, I can't zoom in. And he's gone anyway. I did, I don't know if you saw, but I did see one chocolate bristle, albino chocolate bristle nose fry. I don't know, if the, are they all gonna throw albinos because both parents are albino? I don't really know, but I'm pretty excited. I actually haven't seen those yet, so I'm not gonna disturb anything because, you know, as you can see the cave down there in the weeds. There's actually two caves. This filter is run by one China. This tank is run by one China filter. I'm gonna have to put air to that other filter to make sure 
uh, we have enough beneficial bacteria to keep this water quality fantastic. All right, folks, moving on. Japanese blues right here. And also there's some uh, uh, plecos in there. New to the website, folks. Excuse me. New to the website, folks. These are red blonde cobra guppies. That's right, folks. Another cobra guppy in Michael's fish room on the website. Red blonde cobra guppies. And uh, I'll show you another tank of these uh, towards the end of the video. These guys are just like every other cobra. Very prolific, very hardy. Look how big the females are. Um, I've been letting these guys breed in here. You can see there's a couple of fry. There's a, a bigger juvenile and the weeds hanging out. But I'll show you my breeder tank. You'll see that there's a, a gajillion in there. Super red bristle nose plecos. Look at that one. This is so cute right here. Lots of mom. Uh, lots of mom and snails and lots of babies babies all over that place so I know I have a couple of these uh, on order guys if you order these my plan is to hopefully ship them before I go to Japan because <coughs> if I'm not able to ship them by then it's probably gonna be the spring unless we get some a couple warm warm days before Thanksgiving or after Christmas so keep that in mind folks I know I have quite a few orders um, already placed if you're looking to buy these you should probably buy them and realize you're gonna have to wait for them uh, they sell fast so this is the green dragon tank um, I haven't really done anything to this tank since I got it as you can tell there's lots of mom um, the green dragons hide a lot more than any other pleco in fact I don't see any of them oh maybe there's one on the wood in between in the crook of the wood let me try to make it there we go in the crook of the wood there's a reverse trio in here hopefully by the spring we have some babies all right i'm gonna get my creeper seat because i'm fat and i don't want to bend down and we're gonna look at some more fabulous guppies folks all right this is the mutt guppy tank pond tank and um, I took some underwater footage of here, so you'll see it now. you folks that was pretty cool I think uh, these guys are spectacular uh, the quarantine period is over so this yellow water will quickly clear up as I put fresh water in um, these guys are for sale don't forget to sale buy five get one free or the other sale is get six for the price of five all right folks these are the black panda guppies I just recently added some of the Sennacheris and some of the other floating plants from the pond after it sat in Chewy's tank for a while. Uh, these guys, small but pretty hardy and uh, very prolific. Lots of fry in there. I don't know if you can see all the fry and goodness. Uh, but these are for sale on the website in pairs only because I'm having a hard time keeping up with production. All right, folks, lemon drop pleco grow out. Uh, really nothing going on here. Typical breeding setup, caves, wood, sponge filter, 
And um, these guys also kind of like to hide quite a bit. In fact, I don't see any. Hopefully they're in the caves doing some business, but I doubt it because they're a little small. Male guppy grow out tank. Nothing really special to see here. Got some black Moscow males, that nice yellow cobra. I actually had a couple losses in here. And what I think happened, there's a pleco that fell in here actually. And uh, I'm leaving it in here to, to clean up the tank, but it's a lemon drop pleco. Uh, what happened in this tank is that filter uh, was in the back and I, I probably hadn't cleaned it in over a year. And I think uh, this tank just got too dirty, actually dirty. And I started losing fish. So I did a, a huge volume water change. I cleaned the filter. And boom, back to goodness. Green Cobra grow out tank. These guys are a little older than the upper tank. There's some, some males in here that are, are pretty nice. Here's they're hiding right now. Lots of fry, lots of different sizes. I'm hoping that in, in the spring, uh, I have enough Green Cobras to sell sell because they're on um, intergalactic back order right now on the website. All right. There's a red tux female or two in here and some chocolate plecos that a customer sent me. Um, he wanted to try shipping. See, there's one right there. And um, he said, let me send you some plecos and see what happens. And so he sent me a couple different sizes. Um, I went over what was up with his shipping. He did, overall, he did a great job. Bags were a little soft, so he's got to work on that. But he, I think he's going to start selling on Aquabid. Uh, if you start selling on Aquabid and you want me to tell people who you are, let me know, and I will do that. But I don't like to give people's names if they don't want them. So you can see there's some nice chocolates on the... Uh, of course, it's focusing on the bubbles. There you go. All right, fishy folks. Yet another Red Cobra grow out tank. Uh, we need these amount of grow-out tanks because these Red Cobras sell fast. They sell fast. There's some in here I probably got to put in the mutt guppy tank. Looks like I got to clean up this line a little bit. But overall, a great guppy. Uh, very hardy, very prolific. And look at the java moss in here. I can grow some java moss. No, I don't have any for sale, though. I get asked that question all the time. Guys, if you want java moss or any floating plants, check out KGE Aquatics or Green Oasis Farms. Both of those guys are friends of mine. They sell a ton of plants and they can help you way better than me. I don't like to ship plants. I don't really have a lot of extra. It may look like I have a whole tank full here, but think about putting Java Moss in 55 tanks. Uh, eventually I want every tank to be so full I can't see what's going on. And to do that, I need to grow it. So sorry, I don't really have any to sell. These are the Blue Delta Guppies. Um, there were a couple females in this tank. And then I put the females from outside and uh, let them do their thing in here. There were a couple of juveniles, but I didn't have many fry. I had juveniles and I had grow outs, but I didn't have any fry when I pulled them from outside, so. All right, folks, this is a sad tank. It's a Dumbo Dragon Mosaic tank that I had a fry or two in. And when I had my problem with the male guppy tank, I lost the males I had, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this tank. If you have Dumbo Dragon, Jumbo Rainbow Dragon Mosaics, I will pay for them. Please send me an email. All right, folks. Here's what we did with these fake purple snowflakes. We renamed them Blue Metallic Mosaic, and they are now for sale on the website. Uh, the first batch has bred pretty true, so I'm confident... Uh, they will breed pretty true. This glass is really bad. I should have cleaned it beforehand, but I didn't because I'm a lazy SOB. Uh, these guys, very hardy. To be honest, very hardy and very prolific. Once I got the meds in them and cleaned them up, uh, I had probably three drops of at least 30 fry each. Uh, in a very short period of time, you can see all the fry and juveniles growing out. They look great. If you like blue guppies, this is one of the strains you should definitely look at. They have popped out some uh, blue deltas, actually, which I'll be cleaning up, of course. And sometimes there's some red in the tail. Just so you know, if you buy them, that might happen. I will be cleaning this lineup as I breed them, though, and trying to take those out and put them in the muck guppy tank. So um, take a look. Take a, a look. If you want a breeding project, this is going to be a fun one, folks. All right, guys. These are the red blonde growouts that I was telling you about. Look at how many gajillion fry are in there. There's got to be at least 
seven or eight fry. Now, I mean, look, and all different sizes, all different grow out rates. Males look great, females look great. Very hardy, very prolific. Look, there's a nice male. Um, these red blonde cobra guppies are now on the website as well. So check them out. Guess what's in the bag, folks? Let me know in the comments below what you think is in the bag. If you know what's in the bag, do not say it. Oh, oh, don't look, don't look, don't look. All right, folks, last tank in the fish room for you. Red snakeskin and albino bristlenose plecos. These red snakeskins are quite nice, good size, great coloring. They have a, um, a silver body with green metallic, which is nice. And uh, you can see the plecos down on the bottom, grow outs. I bought these guys pretty small and I'm growing them out to sell them. You can see a bigger one hanging out, the tail hanging out in that wood right there. That's pretty nice. All right, fishy folks, that does it for the massive fish room tour of Michael's Fish Room. Hope you guys liked it. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them uh, down below. And you can email me as well. And don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com where right now, muck guppies are on sale. Buy five, get one free, or the other sale that's going on. Buy six for the price of five. But these guys are just like every other Kobe, cobra. These got wow. Hi, fishy fo ah. I cleared my throat first, I swear. Hey, fishy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to ya. Guys, before we get started in this epic fish room tour of Michael's Fish Room, do me a favor, go ahead and obliterate that subscription button if you haven't done so already. Gently the notification bell and check out Michael's fish room where you're you could buy where you could <clears throat> hey fishy folks and happy Sunday fun day to you today will be a massive fish room tour from Michael's fish room that's right folks strap in grab a snack and a beverage and stay tuned for a long one as I go over tank by tank what's going on in the fish room. In addition, we have some underwater footage of mutt guppies, the pond mutt guppies in their new home, and Chewy's tank as well. That's right, folks. Chewy, the Super Red Dragon Flower Horn, is getting some underwater footage. Hopefully, he hasn't destroyed the camera yet. He was actually scared of it when I first put him in, but maybe now he's getting a little bold. It's over there. I can't see it, so... Also, fishy folks, if you haven't done so already, please, please do me a favor. Go ahead and obliterate the subscription button. Gently boop the notification bell. And check out michaelsfishroom.com where you can buy the guppies and plecos that you're just about to see. All right, guys? Do me a favor. Don't do me a favor. I keep saying do me a favor. Like, well, how many favors are you going to do me? <laughs> do me. I'm just gonna do this all over again, cuz. Duh. <clears throat> Hi, fishy folks. Happy Sunday, fun day to ya. Hope you guys have good weekend plans or have had some good weekend plans. Yesterday, I should go into the video first, then tell you what I did, cuz you're gonna lose interest. It's a little, little YouTube jargon there.